Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have very fun end of the month little wrap up for us. It's gonna be my July favorites, like my go-tos this past month. And honestly, kind of just like summer favorites because I have like some stuff that I've had for like over a month, but I've been absolutely loving. It ranges from clothes to beauty products, to hair products, books, jewelry. Um, just random things. We're gonna start with clothing because I have a lot of them. I'm gonna show you them and then actually we're gonna end with clothing So I'll try them on for everyone But we're just gonna start with beauty random those kinds of things so that I can try it on for you guys And we could talk about it then I have three things So you guys know my obsession with my Laneige lip sleeping mask I put it on every night before bed I had the berry one and then I have the cool mint one in like the tube I just finished the berry one a few weeks ago and it's literally lasted me so long I can't believe I like, actually like finished the whole thing I've never finished like a lip balm or something like that before but it's incredible my favorite thing ever it's how my lips go from like always being chapped and i was always using the wrong kind of chapsticks and lip products but if you put it on at night your lips are finally like eventually they just like feel so moisturized so i got a little tube version of it so i got the berry one because this one's my absolute favorite and it's so cute it is a little bit pricier this is like i think it's 18 or 19 dollars but so worth it this is like perfect because you can travel with it throw it in your bag bring it with you you can leave it at home like you can do like more with this than like the bigger tube highly recommend i put this on at night or whenever my lips just feeling like i need a little moisture i'm obsessed with this next is an eyebrow pencil so i used to be very big on the anastasia brow whiz but it's like 22 dollars i believe and i was just like so over spending that much money every few months when i needed a new one so i found this i randomly got this i don't know why what possessed me to buy this this is the l'oreal brow stylist definer i get it in brunette best dupe you will find it's literally looks exactly like the definer it's just small little that part of it and then the brush on this and the little spoolie is perfect the best dupe ever for brow wiz i feel like i'm a good judge of that because i've used it for so long it works so well lasts on my brows it's easy to draw on it doesn't go on like too harsh and it just feels the same as the brow wiz did so I love this literally so much. Next is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Pillow Talk. You guys know, if you've been here for a while, my favorite lip liner is the Kat Von D Lip Liner in Bow and Arrow best color it's like a deeper kind of pink color my favorite ever i finished that one i have to get a new one but i got this for my birthday i've always wanted to try this one but i never ended up like buying it but i got it i'm obsessed it's lighter than the bow and arrow one but it's such like a pretty color on your lips it's kind of more rosy it's like a natural color those are my favorite kind of lip liners and like colors for my lips it's so good it lasts so long i have it on right now i put it on earlier this morning and it's still on my lips the only thing is my bow and arrow like cap on d1 you can like twist the bottom and you can get more this one you have to sharpen so definitely Definitely make sure you have a sharpener or something. I use my mom, she has a sharpener, so I just make sure to sharpen that when I have to. I don't love that you have to sharpen it. I feel like the retractable part is like so much easier, but so worth it. So that's all the beauty stuff I have. We're gonna go on to jewelry. I have one thing to show you guys that I'm just obsessed with right now. This necklace from Princess Polly. It was in my Princess Polly haul from like my most recent one. It's just a gold little necklace. It has two attached to one hook, which I love, so they don't really get tangled. They'll kind of like intertwine with each other, so you kind of have to like undo that, but you don't have to worry about like two different like hooks attaching to each other like this is just perfect so this one is just a little circle and then the other one is a little lock which is so cute it looks so pretty on what i love about it is i can just throw this on day to day and it's like an everyday little necklace or if i went out past few weeks i would throw this on with like my sarah necklace this is from etsy by the way i always get questions but i'll throw it on with this necklace and it looks good like all together i don't know if this will tarnish in water though i've been taking it off i don't obviously wear it all the time so i would just take it off if you go in the water but highly recommend next in the beauty kind of section my hair it's not curled right now but i recently bought a new curling wand i've learned over the past like month and a half how to use the clamp curler it's life-changing it gives the most beautiful like natural curls so this is the ion hair curler this is an inch and a quarter my old one that i had like it was fine but it was so old that it stopped like working well so i definitely needed a new one i love that it's gold and black like it's so pretty but it goes up to 450 and you can like choose between 300 350 400 and 450 and it gets hot like so quick and like, it's just perfect it gives you like the most amazing curls highly recommend this i literally curl my hair in like 10 minutes or less using this i love the clamp i don't know if i'll ever go back to the wand it's just just my favorite kind of curl next is my book section i wrote down in my notes like what my favorites were of the month that i was going to talk about in this video and for the book section all i wrote was colleen hoover in all caps if you're someone that wants to get into reading wants a new kind of books to read a new author to try out colleen hoover 
that's it colleen hoover any of her books you'll probably love she has just this way of writing for me personally she knows how to get you connected to the characters connected to the storyline and then she always throws in some crazy plot twists or just like storyline that just every time i'm crying she knows how to get you there's definitely romance in like all of her books but check them out so i have one with me this is november 9th i read this a couple days ago and it's basically about this girl fallon who got into a fire her house burned down and she was left scarred from like one half of her body she has like burns everywhere she's an aspiring actress and since she has scars like it's kind of like a false dream and her father's really hard on her about that because he was an actor so they're out to dinner one night and her father's really like ripping her apart and then this guy ben comes into the booth and and, like goes at her father for like ripping her apart because he kind of overhears the conversation and then he pretends to be Fallon's fake boyfriend. They kind of just hit it off right away but that night Fallon is moving across the country to start a new life kind of in New York, follow her dreams. So her and Ben make like a little pact kind of to meet up November 9th every single year and Ben is an aspiring writer so since they have such a strong connection they're meeting up every November 9th. For the next five-ish years he is gonna write a story basically on their love life and like their love story. They meet up every November 9th things happen in between there's a crazy coincidence between the two of them and it's just such an incredibly written story i was so connected to them i was crying i was just crying by the end of it i will recommend this to anyone but any of her books i know most of you probably heard of it ends with us ugly love is another really good one but definitely colleen hoover if you're looking for any new books i am obsessed i just posted a book video my previous video so check that out if you need any other good books to read or if you're interested in hearing my thoughts about other books so colleen hoover is just your go-to if you need anything in the book world so lastly in this little section i don't have it with me because i left it downstairs but my kindle so i don't know what kind of kindle i have because it was a gift it's my favorite thing ever i was very big against having a kindle i was always for having a book in your hand you know it feels better it's better reading it through a book but i love my kindle some books are free on there i mean some are just discounted cheaper i feel like i read better on there more efficiently because it like tracks like how much time you've left in the chapter how much percent of the book you have left like that's just my favorite part of it i feel like it makes me read better i don't know why you can highlight in it ah, it's just perfect i love my kindle so i really recommend trying it out plus i was always just buying books and they've been stacking up in my drawer and i feel like i have no room for more so having the kindle is kind of just saving a lot of space i do get obviously actual books sometimes when i feel like i want to buy the actual book but i love my kindle so much seriously one more thing in the book world if you don't have a kindle and you're like struggling to read at night because you need to read obviously with the lights on to read your book i got this on amazon it's a light that you read on your book so you hook this to the back of the book or like any we're on the book that you need and then this will kind of go in any angle that you need and then there's just a power button and it has three settings i don't know if you can tell like like camera but this thing also on the top will turn like the light part will turn so you can angle that at a different setting it has like the best settings of lighting so at night if you need it and then you just turn it off when you don't want it anymore and then to charge it you just unhook this and it's like a good little usb you just plug it into a cube that i'm sure everyone has and you charge it if you have to this is perfect whenever i want to read at night which i love reading at night it's usually when i read like the most but i have a book i usually put that on because i don't want to get up and turn my lights off whatever the case is so that's what i use we are finally getting into the clothing pieces. I'm going to try on whatever I'm showing you and we'll talk about it. So the first thing though that I have, I'm actually wearing a pair right now, but I have another pair in front of me in a different color, are my Lulu Lemon Aligns. These are six inches. These are the tie-dye ones, navy tie-dye, and then I'm wearing the black ones right now, which I will show you how they look on me. I get them in a size four. These are my favorite, favorite shorts ever to work out in, just to wear every day, just on lounge. They will last you absolutely forever. They have such crazy beautiful colors in them and I just recommend these to anyone. The ones I'm wearing are the black ones. So they kind of just go down to like my mid thigh. They're really comfortable. I feel like they're just like a staple to have and they're just like perfect. I'm obsessed with them. They just feel so good on. Next thing I have is this sweatshirt. Now I've been living in this sweatshirt. The only thing about it is I got it in LBI. I wore this in a previous vlog I think. I don't know but I got this in LBI so you can't get this one unless you go to that store but I just just in general, this sweatshirt is from Hazel Boutique. The front of it is a light pink stripes and then the back top says Hazel Boutique in pink, which is really, really cute. And it's just light gray. So this isn't a double XL. I like my sweatshirts from Hazel super, super long and just 
set. Things I can wear with shorts, but you don't see the shorts, you know what I mean? I'll show you the length of it. So it goes down again to like my mid thigh. So I can just like walk around with this. And I have shorts on underneath, but you don't see them when I'm wearing the sweatshirt. But about this sweatshirt is it's from Hazel. And what I'm also trying to get at is that Hazel Boutique has literally the best oversized sweatshirts ever. Any Hazel sweatshirt, I just highly recommend. They're so comfortable. I always live in them and they have so many. I got this one. I have a few other ones from Hazel and they're just like my favorite sweatshirts to lounge out in. Super comfortable, super cute. They always have like trendy stuff, so highly recommend. Two tank tops from Princess Polly. They're the same tank top, just different colors. They're in my previous Princess Polly haul again. I have been, let me tell you, living in these tank tops. It's not even an uh, exaggeration or me being dramatic. I've worn these tank tops like as much as you can wash them and rewear them again. Like these are just my favorites right now. This one is green. It's kind of like a ribbed, kind of like a little bit thicker tank top. And then the back of it at the top has a little patch. And then the front says Sportive. I think Sportive Company. Sportive and Relax Company, 1996. This one is light green and white writing. And then this one is white with black stitching and black writing. So the thing about these, I love the neckline, how it's kind of like high neck and like a little bit of race back and that they're not super cropped like you can see that it meets where my shorts start like it's perfect like length which i love and i feel like i don't have so many tank tops that are kind of longer and not like super cropped so this is like it's more coverage it's more comfortable i'm like obsessed with them they fit so well and i don't have to wear a bra with them which is my favorite thing and they come on other colors too which i will probably go back and like run to get but i seriously these are just my favorites i've been wearing them for weeks since i got them from the video a couple more things so i got these from urban the other day they're levi's i think they're the ribcage shorts i got them in a 27 they have like all the four buttons up the front and they're kind of a little bit longer so they're not like booty shorts but these i don't wear denim shorts i absolutely hate them i don't like the way they look on me i don't like the way they feel they're uncomfortable but these so comfortable i'm not kidding like i could wear these anywhere anytime they are pretty high-waisted and then they go to like my mid thigh down here again they're not like super short booty shorts which i love because the back of them they have like ribs and they're really cute they're really comfortable i just feel really good in these like i can move around and yeah I can wear them with this tank top and it's just so cute and they just fit so nice. I love the wash of them. They're just perfect. Lastly, in the clothing department, I have my white linen long sleeve from Zara. The only thing is it's a little wrinkly. I didn't have time to iron this thing out, but I got this in a medium. It's the perfect oversized. I don't want to say like cover up, but for summer, it's hard to throw on a zip up or like a little cardigan or something and not sweat to death, but this is so thin and it's just perfect. I know you guys probably either have this or have seen this everywhere, but you can just throw it over this and just make it a cute little outfit and you can like right here you can tie it there's just so much you can do with it and you can wear this with absolutely anything i think it's a big big staple and it's pretty long in the back too which is very fun and very cute so those are all of my favorites of the month i hope you enjoyed they're kind of random i don't know they're just my favorite things to either use wear past month or over the summer i highly recommend any of them that i've shown everything will be linked down below so if you're interested or you want any of them or just want to check anything out it'll be down in the description box so definitely check there before you go thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to see more from me in the future and i'll see you guys hopefully in the next one bye